Around three months ago, we uploaded a video that was a tutorial on how we built this board that we labeled the Demon due to its insane specs. This video has since become one of our most popular videos, garnering over 62,000 views in that time. A bunch of people in the comments of that video requested that we show some more reading footage as well as a hill climb test and a speed test. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be doing. For the hill climb test, we are testing it on the steepest hill in Portland. It's recorded at 30% incline, which is as steep as most pre-belts can go at the max. And it doesn't really look that steep on camera because for some reason hills never do, but we can assure you that this road is insanely steep. We actually forgot to charge the batteries for this board, so during the filming of this video, the board was only on 60%. This makes it all the more impressive of how it performed during this test. There you have it, the demon absolutely crushed this 30% hill, and it is an absolute beast at hill climbing. It will climb virtually any hill that you hit it with, and it just keeps accelerating all the way up. Next, we did a speed test, but once again, the board was only on 60% battery, which does impact the top speed. However, this didn't even seem to matter at all because we couldn't even get all the way on the throttle. We topped out at around 32 to 33 miles an hour because after that we just didn't feel safe and comfortable on the board. We are just not used to riding very high speeds and with double kingpins trucks it can be a little bit sketchy at times. So the limiting factor on the top speed was not the board at all but rather us the riders being too scared to go any faster. Theoretically, according to the electric skateboard speed calculator, with our voltage and gearing, we should be able to hit our 41 miles an hour without weight or 35 weighted, so we estimate the ultimate top speed to be between 35 and 41. In terms of range, we were never able to fully drain this battery because we had to ship it off to a customer sooner. But considering the math here, the battery is 518.4 watt hours. We average on average 20 watt hours per mile. So if you take 518.4 and divide it by 20, you should get 25.92 miles. This is a theoretical range, of course, based on how we ride. We ride up very steep hills and we also ride very fast at all times, so this has an immense impact on our range. We estimate that if someone were to ride this board a little bit more mellowly, they should be able to average around 15 watt hours per mile and get above 30 miles of range. So there you guys have it, the demon completely tested to the max. 30 plus percent hills, 35 plus miles an hour, and 30 plus miles of range. This board is an absolute monster that cannot be compared with anything else on the market in its price range. We highly recommend for any of you guys watching to build this board. It's heaps of fun to ride. There's a bunch of things that we would change about this, but we'll get to that in another video because we are soon going to be releasing a Demon 2.0 which is the updated version of this. The 2.0 will feature a much slimmer and more compact battery, so you can reduce the weight of your board and also have a lower profile. The trucks and mounts are also going to be slightly different, and we are also going to be using a different deck. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like and comment down below what you think of this board. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Only 9% of you guys are subscribed. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing that so we can help grow our channel and produce more videos. Also, go make sure to check out our online store, Propulsion Boards, for many of the parts that we used in the Demon and the parts that we will use in the Demon 2.0. Once again, thank you guys all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.